Welcome to this lesson on the back and the forward button. In the last lesson, we used the address bar in order to visit websites such as Yahoo and Facebook. This lesson is about the back and the forward button. They are two very important functions. The back button allows us to go directly back to the page we were previously at. So if you follow the link to a certain page but wanted to go back to the one you are at, you click the back button once and it will take you there. The forward button works in the same way. If you click the back button, you can then click the forward button to go back to the page you were just at. If you click on the small arrow on the forward button side, a list of several pages that you visited will show up, whether they were before or after the page you're currently viewing. But instead of just talking about it, let's put it into practice. As you can see, my forward button is lighted blue, which means I've already been searching. If you can remember, in the last lesson, I typed in www.yahoo.com first. What if I wanted to go back to that? I just click the forward button, and I'm here at yahoo.com. But wait, there's another forward button. I, after I visited Yahoo, I went to Facebook. So I click it, and there I am on Facebook. But let's say I want to go back to Yahoo. I click back, and I'm back at Yahoo. And let's say I wanted to go back to Trinfo Cafe's website. I click back and I'm on Trinfo Cafe's site. But let's say I right click the forward button here and look, I have all the sites that I've been on today. Not only that, but I can also click my history button. And that is the lesson on the back and the forward button.